Ya se va a conectar el teacher. Sí, ya. <laughs> Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, teacher. How are you doing today? Fine, thanks. Hi, thanks. Hi. How are you? I'm, I'm very tired. good. <laughs> tired? Or what? What did you just say? See? Tired. Hard. Okay. All right. So, um, well, I don't know why I still have some problems when I try to connect. Still have like, uh, I don't know, it's the link isn't working that much. And I saw one of your classmates was saying that she got the same problem. I don't know what's going on. It is probably something related to the app or something like that. I don't know, but I mean, we're here. So we are going to start today. Welcome back. Um, well, it's so nice to see you once again. So uh, yesterday, guys, we saw something really related about the food pyramid, right? And we saw some kind of vocabulary with some words, with some vegetables and things like that. So uh, before we start the class, I'm going to ask you some questions to verify how much or how well you remember or about some vocabulary that we saw yesterday. So um, let me see. Yesterday we saw like some vegetables and I don't know if you studied them or not, but we're going to see what, what's the result for that. So let me see, um, how do we say pepino? Does anyone know? That's very easy. Cucumber. 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 Okay. Cucumber. Cucumber. How do we say ajo? Garlic. <laughs> Garlic. 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 How do we say uh, hongo? Mushroom. 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 Okay. Mushroom. Good. How do we say coliflor? Arti, uh, cauliflower. 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 Is, is it because you already know the, the vocabulary or are you checking in your phones or something? I don't know. Oh, wow. That's very good. <laughs> okay, that's great. Cool. Oh, wow, you too? Okay, cool. <laughs> all right. So um, we didn't complete all the exercises, guys. And I was just checking the, well, the chat actually. And I saw that some of you were uh, sending some pictures about the crosswords. And uh, let me see. Yeah, the word search actually. And, uh, but I don't know if you complete the other ones. Did you work on the other ones or just on the word search? <laughs> Did you complete them all or we still missing something? No? Oh. Okay, so if we're not missing if we're missing, like, there's nothing to complete, so I'm going to share the screen with you, and I will request you the answers for some part of... Okay. Uh, this part, this one right here. Let me see. Oh my God, this is not working. Okay, got it. You see? No, Carla, it's not necessary to send it to the WhatsApp group. Some of your classmates send it there because, I mean, they wanted to show that they are working on that. And that's very good. Um, that, that's excellent. But if you do not want to send it, that's up to you. Okay. So uh, let me see. What's the first word right here? Cake. 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 Number two. 
Chicken. 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 Sandwich. 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 Okay, okay. Let's let's make clear there. Sandwich. En, en español decimos sandwich, ¿verdad? Porque es un anglosismo que tenemos. But we do not pronounce it in that way in English. So, por favor, aquí nos olvidando de decir sandwich. No. Y en it is, español sería the, emparedado. En español sería emparedado, but we use that even in Spanish. We say sandwich, but the right pronunciation of that word sandwich. is sandwich. 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 Por favor, ya, sandwich. No, ya no sandwich, ¿verdad? No more sandwich, no. Sandwich, all right? Sandwich. That's the pronunciation. Okay. So what about the next one? Milk. 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 So let's be clear on that one as well. No decimos milk, milk. No, porque se escucha un, un acento completamente españolizado. Milk. No, we say milk. 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 Like that. Milk. What about this one right here? Sweet. Biscuit. 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 Si se escribe biscuit, we say biscuit. 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 All right. What about the next one? Burger. 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 Se escribe burger. 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 Pero decimos burger. burger. Okay. Burger. Burger. Okay. Burger. 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 What about the next Coffee. one? Coffee. 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 That's Coffee. Okay. Yes, a todas las coffee, sabemos. Off, coffee. Bread. Coffee. All right. What about the next one? Bread. 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 The next one? Cheese. Cheese. Okay. And this one, it's very important que, que alarguemos un poquitito cheese. más el sonido de la, de la E. And we say cheese. 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 No, no, that, that's Spanish. <laughs> that's completely in Spanish. No. <laughs> so, but I mean, ice it, it's kind of the same. Ice cream. Ice, ice cream. cream. Ice cream. Okay, what about this? Ice cream. Fry. Fries. 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 What about Fries. this one? Lemon. Uh, lemonade. 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 Are we sure that that would say lemonade? Lemon. Lemonade. 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 Sometimes, guys, algunas veces, para nosotros en in Spanish. Suena o es hasta un poco vergonzoso el abrir nuestra boca demasiado al pronunciar, ¿verdad? Porque uh -huh. en Spanish we are not used to that, no estamos acostumbrados a eso. Pero uh -huh. en inglés van a tener que abrir un poquito más su boca para poder articular bien. Articulate well the words. Y también la lengua, vea. So, va a haber un día en el que vamos a hacer un trabalenguas just to verify if how well are we able to move our tongue, okay? So, we say this okay. one? No. Egg. 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 And what about Egg. this one? Meat. 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 Mm -hmm. water. 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 Okay. Water. Rice. Water. Rice. 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 Excellent. And well, these words, the word search, I, I'm still getting some of your, well, some of your um, answers in the chat. That's very good. So it, it shows that you have been working on that. So uh, I think that that's the last part. What about this part, guys? I will need uh, Claudia, number one. This one right here, Claudia Raeta. Yes, there is um, ice cream. There is an ice cream. Carlos Guevara, this one right here.
this one right here, Carlos. Meet. No, give me the answer. Toda la oración. Aquí eh, dice, mira a la imagen y selecciona la opción correcta. Do we say some or do we say a? There is a meat. There is a meat. Hay una carne, is that correct? Not right. We say there is some meat. So, okay, Shayla, I see that you raise your hand. Go ahead, please. This one right here. There is some any rice. Dentro de las dos, ¿cuál es la respuesta? Some or any? Um, any? Are you sure, Shayla? No, so. Are you sure? So, sorry. Uh, it's confused. <laughs> it's confusing, right? So yes. what, what do you think, Elias? There is some rice. <clears throat> ¿Por qué utilizamos some y no any? ¿Ya vimos esa clase? Sí. Yo entendí eh. que son es de positivo y any de negación. Exactly. That's the answer. That's it. Okay. Positive, Perfect. Glenda Ramos, this one right here. There are some fry. There are some fries. Excellent. Mr. Elvis, the, the next one. There isn't much water. There isn't much water. Excellent. Anna Yancy, the following one. There are a lot, many A. O cual no. me dijo teacher? Yeah, this one. Ah, no. sí, uh -huh. There are a lot, many, many A. Dentro de la respuesta, a lot of, y many, which many. one? Many. Many? Many. Is that correct? Hey, yes. <laughs> so, not... so we say there are many eggs or there are a lot of eggs. How do we a say lot that? Many. Teacher, yo entendí que la comida mm -hmm. eh, era, era uncountable. Entonces, para mí, yo ocuparía eh, a lot of, ¿verdad? Pero me confundo en la anterior donde está el agua ajá e, y ahí también es o sea much también es para un contable exactly exactly uh -huh. so much and a lot of are synonyms son sinónimos that's uh -huh. why they both have the same use uh, we can both use the same thing and at the end they will both means the same but obviously we can use in a different context but here podemos decir many eggs or is necessary to say a lot of many 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 eggs and if we say many eggs how or why can we use many? ¿Por qué podemos utilizar many? Yo, teacher, yo busqué por... en internet uh -huh. y porque me estaba un poco confundida, no estaba, o sea, muy segura de eso y lo busqué y uh -huh. dice que decía, o, o, por supuesto, hay cosas en internet que sé también que no están bien, pero uh -huh. decía que el many también lo podíamos ocupar, por ejemplo, en esa oración, pero que tenía que decir too many. No sé si estaba bien. Si lo podíamos decir, there are too many eggs. Y podíamos decir también, there are a lot of eggs. Exactly. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué podemos, si le agregamos too many, cambia? Porque desde que le agregamos too, un quantifier, too many, ya estamos diciendo muchos o demasiados. 
En este caso, por lo que Lizette dijo, dado el hecho que la comida es incontable, we cannot use únicamente many. Así que en este caso, por lógica y por lo que ya sabemos, es there are a lot of eggs. ¿Sí? Are we understanding that? Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Yes. yes. So, Brenda ah, Villeda. Oh. Una pregunta. Yes, Todo lo que es comida se va a tomar como incontable entonces. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. And no that, siempre, teacher. Exactly. Not always. Y ya vamos a llegar ahí, vea. Está okay. en el programa. No me, no me coman ansias todavía. <laughs> We're going there. We're going there. But, but it's really important to go step by step because if not, you will get confused at all. And you no van a encontrar el camino, ¿verdad? Después para desenredarlos otra vez, it's going to be hard. So, but we're going there. So, but I'm just going to tell you, sir, that there's some, obviously, some exceptions. Siempre hay excepciones. And we are going to understand about those exceptions, okay? So, uh, Brenda Villeda, go ahead and help me with this part over here. Uh, there is a burger. A burger. Maria Luz de Nieto, the next one. There is a cake. There is a cake. Glenda Ramos, the last one. There are some biscuits. Bisco, bisque, I don't know. How do we pronounce that, guys? Lo, los demás. How do we pronounce that? Biscuit. 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 Did I say that? Biscuit. 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 Eso quiere Biscuit. decir que nadie puso atención a la pronunciation. Biscuit. Oh, Biscuit. 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 No, I don't B know. Biscuits. Se escucha biscuits. como E. Se escucha como E, pero es como una E intercalada con I. Biscuits. 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 No, yeah. la E no tiene que ser fuerte porque después del sonido, kids, una I va después. No biscuits. se escucha mucho. Biscuits. 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 Biscuit. I know that, that during the process, durante el proceso de, durante su aprendizaje, van a ser capaces de poder escuchar hasta el más mínimo sonido. The changes in English, you are going to be able to understand it. Probably at this moment, it's kind of difficult to understand all the pronunciations, but I know that you will do it. Porque son un grupo bastante inteligente y bastante dedicado. So, por rato, vea que nadie hace la tarea, pero ahí vamos. Vea. Pero, ok. So, uh, por rato. Por ratito, vea. With that being said, today we have, uh, well, yesterday we saw about the food pyramid, and today we're going to see vocabulary uh, related to sports. We're going to learn which verbs, vamos a ver un poco, of, a little bit of grammar, But also, we are going to see part of vocabulary. So we are going to understand the way we should say some things. And when it comes to grammar, and obviously pronunciation when it comes to vocabulary. Okay? So, um, today, oh, by the way, guys, eh, ya estamos en la recta final, ¿verdad? This is our 14th class. Ya solo nos quedan four more classes and we are done. Yes. So I don't know if all of you checked the WhatsApp group today, but you got, you, well, you received some instructions from the people that is in charge of the platform saying that for today, para el día de ahora, ustedes tienen que tener terminado hasta, um, I don't remember exactly. Section number four. Oh, section wow. number four. Okay, section number four. Why? Because tomorrow, mañana se va a hacer una nivelación. 
y vamos a revisar each one of your profiles and we are going to see who has been working and who hasn't been working, okay? So it's very important that you are working on that, guys. Remember, at the end of the module, you need to have at least 80%. Antes, yes. yes, tell me. Una consulta con respecto al, al módulo 1, al terminar la plataforma, daba la opción del certificado. Yes. Y ahora hasta el final de la clase sería, hasta el final de la determinación. No, 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 no. I mean, I mean, if you already finished the platform, si ya terminaste la plataforma, you should have the option. Ya debería de aparecerte la opción uh, certificado. Y Cher, no, yo consulté con, con la que tenemos asignada, la, el técnico, Carla, Carlita, uh -huh. eh, y dice de que tienen problemas con la plataforma para poder descargar el diploma. Oh, Pero uh, que están trabajando en eso. Dijo. Yeah, uh -huh. we got some instruction as well. También nos dieron unas instrucciones que el agente encargado en Estados Unidos, they are still working on that. Todavía están... Eh, consiguiendo la aprobación de los, de los certificados. Así que si ustedes ya terminaron el platform, eh, pueden darle en, en la opción que dice Certificate y en el momento que se actualice la plataforma, you will get your certificate automatically. Les va a generar automáticamente ya con, with the information of module number two. So that's, that's what I, uh, I, I can tell you about it. That's all I know at this moment. So Miriam, you have any question? Eh, sí, teacher. Este, yo tengo ahí un, un problemita con, con, unas, con la sección 2 y con la 3. Me parece que no sé. Quisiera que me ayuden. No me acepta la respuesta. Ya intenté de mil maneras y no me acepta ninguna respuesta. Have you tried with capital letters? Con mayúscula? Todas en mayúscula no he intentado. Can you please try that tomorrow or today after the class? De ponerlo todo en, en capital letters. Y if works, perfect. And if, doesn't, if that doesn't work, please let me know, okay? Through the chat, you say, no teacher, it didn't work. No funcionó, please help me. So I'm going to understand that, that you were not able to complete that, okay? Y okay. vamos a, a chequear that, okay? Thank you. So, Carlos. Sí, estaba viendo la plataforma que ay, el sistema está tomando, más que todo con las apóstrofes. Mm -hmm. Si le da un espacio en la... O sea, usted le da la opción de apóstrofe si el teclado de su computadora, de su teléfono está configurado con el español latinoamericano, le va a tirar un, un espacio. Entonces uh -huh. ese espacio la plataforma lo da como error. Le recomiendo que el teclado eh, lo personalice. A, hay una opción que aparece como español norteamericano uh -huh. y así no le va a tirar el espacio. O también búsquelo. Busque el, el, en el Google o en el, en el translator, el traductor, eh, y póngalo sin espacio. Y después quítelo, solo cópielo y péguelo. Así se la va a tirar, correcto. Yo That, en, en, en el primer curso tuve que aprender eso porque aunque supiera la respuesta, pero por ese espacio que me daba por default, la configuración del teclado me lo ponía malo, aunque yo supiera la respuesta. Yes, I mean, that, that can also work. So... Please, guys, eh, si entre ustedes también, thank you so much, Carlos, for that advice. Eh, para los demás, vea, tomen nota, take some notes regarding to that. And, uh, well, that is going to help you as well. Si ya después de following all those process, you still have the same problem. Si después de todos esos procesos hay siempre el mismo problema, please let me know, okay? Hágamelo saber para que no tengan problemas cuando hayan calibraciones, ¿ok? También, so, también se puede utilizar el alt más 0146 y sale la apóstrofe, eso también okay. la agarra. That can also work. So, mm -hmm. thank you so much for all your advice, guys. So, uh, ¿Cuál era la clave que dijo la compañera? Alt. Alt. 
Más 0,046. 146. 146. 0,146. 0,146. Oh, 146. What is a sport? Okay, so going down to business now to start with the topic. We got a sport. What is a sport? We have over there uh, some examples. It says a sport or sports at all forms are usually competitive physical activity, which through casual or organized participation aim to use, maintain or improve physical ability and skills while providing entertainment to participants, in some cases, as spectators. So we got some, uh, some sports right here. We got the sledding, that is, let me try to check this one. Sledding, it is this one right here, and synchronized swimming. Nado sincronizado, right? And sledding, uh, I don't know, a lot about this sport because this type of sport are not common in our country due to the fact that it doesn't snow here. Debido a que no tenemos nieve acá, but I'm pretty sure that you have probably seen in some movies or something like that, this type of sports. And uh, all right, so with that being said, is there any question about any word that you didn't understand about the meaning right here? Uh, teacher, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, what is the difference between ability and skills? Skills, habilidad, e, uh, well, physical ability and skills. Skills, le decimos a las habilidades que tú tienes, pero es algo que nosotros no podemos ver. Es decir, tú eres muy buena en matemáticas, cosas que nosotros, physically, we cannot see, cosas que no podemos ver en persona. So when we talk about physical, physical things that we can see about you, we use the word ability. Cuando queremos hablar siempre de habilidad, pero de cosas que we don't see in you, we use the word skill. That's the... Okay. Yes, gracias, teacher. All right, you're welcome. So moving forward to this part, here we have the grammar explanation. Aquí venimos con la parte de la gramática. So we know, sabemos que para utilizar algunos sports to some sports utilizamos el verbo play what does play means que significa play jugar jugar, jugar. jugar. exactly jugar, no juego. Mm -hmm. so it says the explanation right here let me let me see mr elvis can you please have me reading the play explanation play is general general Use within sports and those sports that need a ball or similar object. Fuck this shooting cock. Mm -hmm. Also, those activities in which two people or team compete against each other. Okay, so for you to understand very easy, it says that when we talk about some sports, that we play in teams or some sports that need objects, eh, deportes que necesitan algún objeto additional o deportes que jugamos en equipos, these uh, o deportes competitivos entre otros equipos, we are going to use the verb play. Vamos a utilizar el verbo play. Quiere decir that I can say, Elias play basketball. Ana Maria play baseball. Lisette Montoya play golf or plays golf. Depending on it is the third person. I do with they, he, she. Ya ustedes ya saben que se modifica o no se modifica de, according to the pronoun. Okay. So that's the grammar part. Esta es la parte de gramática. Remember, if the sports 
si el deporte, we played it in teams, lo jugamos en equipos. Or if we use an object, si utilizamos un objeto para jugarlo o competimos entre otros equipos, we are going to use the verb play. Are we clear on that? Oh, we, yes, teacher. Okay, we have some okay. examples here, such as basketball, baseball, golf, tennis, soccer, football, chess, hockey, and volleyball. Those are some examples of some sports that we can use with the verb play. Moving forward, if there are some questions, moving forward, we have the verb go. Maria Luz de Nieto, go ahead and help me please with this part. Go is used with acti activities and sports that and 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 mm -hmm. the verb go here in in plus uh -huh. go ahead mm -hmm. that we go um somewhere to practice to practice this sport okay thank you so much so here we have another grammar part guys it says that we are going to use the verb go when the sports end, cuando los deportes terminen in ing, en ing, right? And cuando utilizamos el verbo go, implica que vamos a algún lugar to practice this sport. Que vamos a un lugar para practicar el deporte. That's why we use the verb go. Remember all the verbs that ends in ing, you will need to use the verb go. For example, go swimming, go hiking, go bowling, go fishing, go skiing, go jogging, go running, and go cycling. Those are some of the, the sports, algunos de los deportes, that ends in the ing. So remember, before, antes del deporte, we are going to use the verb go. Are we clear on that, guys? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Great. Okay, so teacher. moving forward, we have the verb do. So let me see. Um, medium. Can you please help me, Miriam? It is reading this part over here. Okay. Do. Do is used with rec recreational activities and white individual, not team sport on sport in which a ball is not used, like martial arts. For example, do a crossword puzzle. Okay, it says do is used with recreational activities and with individual, non-team sports or sports in which a ball is not used, like martial arts, for example, do a crossword puzzle. Okay, what does that mean, guys? It means that we are going to use the verb do con actividades que no se juegan en equipos. ¿Sí? O deportes en los que no se implica ningún tipo de objeto o bola. ¿Sí? Son como recreacionales o juegos individuales. For example, eh, y ustedes me van a decir, you can ask me probably, pero teacher, el karate lo jugamos con otro equipo. Entonces, ¿por qué no podemos utilizar el verbo play? ¿Lo jugamos en equipo el karate? Oh. Do we do that? No. Even though... Teacher, lo que pasa que en karate lo que hacen que lo juegan mixto, así como el tenis. Tenis, hay juegos que son en pareja y mm -hmm. hay en, en, en mixto. Mixto es que son dos y dos en cada esquema, de, en, ca, en cada lugar de, de la mesa. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I know it might be kind of confusing at the very beginning. It might be confusing. Why? 
Because remember here, we have the verb play, right? Y decimos que el play lo utilizamos cuando tenemos equipos o deportes que utilizan algún tipo de bola o algo por el estilo. Pero utilizamos do cuando el deporte es solo recreacional o individual y que no requiere nada más que su cuerpo. No requiere ningún, ninguna cosa extra. No bolas, no discos, no palos o paletas, nothing like that. Solamente su cuerpo y algún casco que ya eso es cosa adicional. ¿Sí? But Uh, in these cases, we are going to use the verb do. For example, do karate, I'm sorry, karate, do judo, do kung fu, do aerobics, do ballet, do yoga, and do gymnastics. Let me see, I got some questions. Oh, karate, karate do. No, I have never heard that, Carlos. Teacher. I have never heard that. Yes, go ahead. Um, and repeat uh, the gymnastics. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, according to the grammar part, is there any question, guys? La parte de gramática. No. no. All right. If there's mm -hmm. no questions, we're going to move to the following part. Here we have the exceptions. Aquí vienen las excepciones. So pay attention to this. It says, you use do with two activities that ends in ing. ¿Sí? Nos recordábamos que utilizamos do con aquellos deportes que terminan en ing. ¿Sí? Como... Yes. Sí, ese es, el... ese es el que utilizamos. O go? No, era el, go es el go. go. En ING, el go. Exactly. Exactamente. Pero por eso es una excepción. Vamos a utilizar do. We are going to use do con estos dos es, deportes. Boxing, boxeo. And bodybuilding, ¿verdad? Los que les gusta hacer pesas. That's why are those exceptions. Aunque terminan en ING, en ING, y sabemos que the verb or the sports that ends in the ING form, we have to use the verb go. In these two cases, we are not going to use go. We are going to use the verb do. Okay? So, And uh, with golf, this is another exception as well. Cuando jugamos golf, y es una competición, ya sabemos que el verbo play, we're going to use it when it's a competition, right? See? Cuando, that's why it says over there, if there's an idea of competition, you use the verb play. Si hay una idea de competencia, vamos a utilizar play. However, you can say go golfing. Si ustedes no van a estar en una competencia de golf, pueden utilizar el verbo go. ¿Por qué? Lo pueden utilizar go golfing porque eso significa que ustedes se van a mover a algún lugar. Do you remember that the explanation said, la explicación decía, we use go with some, uh, with some sports in ING because the verb go gives you an idea that you are going somewhere to play the sport. Are we clear on these two exceptions? Estamos yes. claros. Sí, okay. Yes. Perfect. Thanks. Perfect. So now we're going uh, with some of the sports. This one is going to be just for pronunciation. Pay attention, okay? Football, volleyball, basketball, soccer, handball, kickboxing, martial art, ping pong, 
baseball, bowling, billiard, golf. Pay attention to this when la mayoría de nosotros in El Salvador le llamamos billar. But in English, we say it billiard, okay? Billiard. So, boxing, cricket, equestrian, fencing. Obviously, there are some sports that we do not know or that we do not play in El Salvador. But in some other countries, such as England, such as France, such as uh europe and all those uh areas around the world they play these type of sports but in our case in el salvador there are some of them that we do not know what those are so gymnastics badminton tennis high jump wrestling wrestling pay attention wrestling, sumo, cycling, car racing, hard less, hard less, javelin, long jump, running. I will repeat it again. Hard less, javelin, long jump, running. Pay attention to the pronunciation because I will ask you later on, okay? Water polo, water skiing, speed skating, archery. Water polo, water skiing, speed skating, and archery. Crew, crew, diving, diving, surfing. Swimming, crew, diving, surfing, swimming. Bobsled, bobsled, ice hockey, ice hockey, ice skating, ice skating, ski, ski. I will repeat it again. Bobsled ice hockey, ice skating, and ski. Now, I'm going to ask you right now. Let me see. Uh, Victoria, give me a number from one to 20. Um, seven. Seven, okay. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Elvis, I'm sorry, go ahead. Good boy. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, repeat, it. repeat that again. Football. Volleyball. Okay. Basketball. Uh -huh. Soccer. Now, this one. Porque se estaban too easy. Handball. Mm -hmm. Kickboxing. Mm -hmm. Martial arts. Ping mm -hmm. pong. Excellent. Now, give me a number from 1 to 20. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Erika. Cepeda. Hi. Hi. Baseball, mm -hmm. bowling, billiards, golf. Now this one. Boxing. Mm -hmm. Break. And repeat it again. Boxing. Uh huh. Creek. 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 Equestrian. Fencing. Uh -huh. uh huh. Okay, we're going to suppose that you said it correctly. Okay, give me a number from one to 20, though. Sorry? Give me a number from one to 20. 20. 
20. Let me see. One, two, three. Okay, Jonathan see... Cordova. Jonathan Cordova. Hello, sir. Hello, hello. Hello. Please say it again, this part. Uh, boxing. Mm -hmm. Cricket. Cricket. Equestrian and dancing. Okay. All right. Thank you. Give me a number from one to twenty. Uh, Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Medium. Hello. Hello, teacher. Go ahead. Gymnastic. Mm -hmm. Badminton. Badminton. Tennis. Badminton, tennis, jinjup. No, no, no. High jump. Exactly. High jump. High yeah. jump. Like that. Now, give me a number from 1 to 20. Um, seven. Seven. Okay. Claudia Iraeta. Wrestling, sumo, cycling, and racing. Now this one. Hablet, Havelin, long jump, running. Okay, now give me a number from one to 20. Number two. Number two. Okay, let me see, we got number two. Oh. Miriam again, no, but she already participated. So Shayla. Okay. Repeat again this this four, the four ones that we have right here. Um, Hogless. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Long jump. Uh, and, and what happened ah. with this one? Um, Haberly. Javelin. Javelin. Sorry. Javelin. Okay. Excellent. So give me a number from one to 20. Number nine. Nine. Let me see. Ana Yancy. Hello, teacher. Hello. What is polo? Mm -hmm. What is skin? Mm -hmm. Spin is kite. Archery. <laughs> okay. Um, Arch archery. Okay. Archery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something that I want to tell you guys, and this part is complete. Uh, well, you have to make a sound. El sonido que tienen que hacer es un poco más skin. largo. Skin. Porque si no, if not, what is skin? if not, you're saying skin. Si no, lo que están diciendo, en vez de decir como esquiar, están diciendo piel, skin, right? So, the okay. difference is going to be that in this word, skin, we, you have to make a little longer uh, the, the letter I, okay? Skin, skin, okay? Do you listen to the difference? ¿Escuchan la diferencia, no? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. So I just wanted to say that because that will be so important when it comes to pronunciation. Now, Anna Jansi, give me a number from one to 20. Um, five, number five. Five, okay, let me see. Carlos Guevara, go ahead. Creo, Tim Tabin. Surfing, swimming. Okay, thank you. Let me see, Maria Luz and Nieto. Um, creo. Mm -hmm. um, David, surfing, swimming, swimming. 
Okay. What about you, Sarah? Hello. Can you please tell me the pronunciation of this word? Cloud. Mm -hmm. Diving, surfing, and swimming. Okay, guys. Escucho que tenemos problemas en the first one. Y seguimos diciendo surfing. Lo seguimos diciendo eh, como lo vemos escrito. Now we say surfing. Surfing. And this one is no, is crow or something. It is crew. Crew. Like with the letter crew. U. Crew. Crew. Crew, diving, surfing, and diving, swimming. surfing, and swimming. Okay, now, Sarah, give me a number from 1 to 20. Well, 19, porque ya se desconectó uno. 19. Um, 19. Okay. 19. Let me see. Victoria, go ahead. Boss left. Ice hockey, ice skating, ski. Excellent. Very good. So that was it. That was pretty much it, guys. Now we're going to the practice. This practice is going to be very, very simple according to what we just saw. Okay, so uh, please try to take a screenshot, photo, or something like that because we're going to be working on that. We still have... Uh, eight minutes. And this part over here is just put in play, go or do the according to the sport. Let me know when you're done. Done. And uh, these two parts, estas dos de acá, we will complete them tomorrow, okay? It's gonna be for tomorrow. So we're just going to work in this part now. And uh, let me see. Okay, perfect. So now guys, please try to join your groups and work on part number one, please. Again, try to speak in English, please. Play. 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 Thomas usually horse ringing on Saturday morning. Ese deporte sí no lo conozco. No lo conozco mucho. Es el del es como caballo. Un corredor, un corredor sobre el, sobre un, un caballo, pero es competencia. Pero digo que cuando, uh, bueno, lo que yo entendí es que cuando iba el verbo gerundio, ING, que reading lleva ING, creo yo, ¿verdad? Sí, horse reading. Sí. ¿Terminan en ING? Sería go. Sería go. Go. Sí, Thomas usually go 
horse riding. Go horse. Sí. Okay, riding. Go. Okay, reading. Y luego dice el, el boxing. boxing. Recreational activity, dice, dice acá. Okay. Eh, recreational activities and with individual. Entonces es go. Es do, perdón. Es do, do. correcto. Es individual. Vaya, Aunt Mary loves to ice skating. Ice go. To go. Ay, es el Ay, es que el Ah, porque dice ice grading. Ice grading. Ice grading. Yo creo que. No. Yo creo que es go. Oh, teacher. Sí, yo creo ¿Cuál que es nombre? Number Number. <laughs> Number five, please help, help me, or help me please, es como es. Help me please. Help me please, no escucha el teacher. Okay, number uh, six. Um, Ice is skating. Patinaje sobre hielo. Okay. Ice is play. Play. Bueno, porque se refiere a, a jugar, pero también puede ser, le quiero ver la excepción. No, es, es do, porque está ING, cuando son deportes que terminan. Ah, sí. Ajá. Sí, 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 correcto. Okay. El 7 uh -huh. basado en esa regla, uh -huh. ok. Y el 8 también, si sí, el 8 sí, si sí, 8 también, go, go, do. es que. Ah. Pero termina en ING. Y aplicamos la excepción, sería do. Y si aplicamos solo lo de estar solo y no de estar nada. Pero entonces para nadar se necesita agua. Uh -huh. Entonces sería ahí, ¿cuál? Go. Okay, go. <risa> no sé. Pero es que no, en swimming es deporte, entonces tendría que ser entre do o, o go o play. Pero swimming, no. bueno, ahí estaba dentro de los de las de las opciones que daba. <risa> ¿Para ¿Y cuál go? estaba? Para el go. Para el, Para el go. Ah, pues hasta dejémoslo. <risa> no nos compliquemos. Yeah. Sí. I like y el, la nueve para mí es go. Oh. I like to go. Solo la ocho si tengo duda. Teacher, ayúdenos. Ahí está, teacher. No. Ay, me va a sacar. Es go. 
Ajá. Eight is go. Oh, ¿En la nueve? Ah, sí. I'd like to... Did you finish, guys? Yes, teacher. All yes, right, teacher. cool. Did you guys complete the other ones? Yes. Complete the exercise? No, right. Algunos por ahí adivinando. No voy a decir nombre, pero vea. Okay. So, um, all right. So we're going to see how well you did it, guys. We're going to finish with that. And uh, we are going to go by groups. I saw, uh, well, while I was checking your groups, I saw that some of you were having some, like you were doing that so much complicated. Complicated, I'm sorry. And, uh, but we're going to see how well that was. So Shayla, you're going to help me with number one, Sarah with number two, uh, okay. Elvis, number three, Ana Maria, four, Claudia Iraeta, five, uh, Maria Luz de Nieto, six, Elias, seven, uh, Jonathan, eight, Carlos Guevara, nine, and number 10, Ceci Ceron. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Number one, my Number sister one. likes to play volleyball after school. Excellent. Thank you. Number two. Thomas usually go horse riding on Saturday oh. morning. Horse riding. Go. Number three. Number three, my, yes. My cousin likes to do boxing to keep fit. To what? To keep fit. No, I mean, which verb? Uh, cousin likes. My cousin likes to do boxing to keep fit. It was the exception, that one? It was yes. it? All right, cool. Yes. Thank you. Number four. What about number four? Teacher. Sheila, yes. Number, number three, go or do? No, that was the exception. Esa era la excepción, remember? So that's why we have to use do. Tenemos que usar do, even mm. though, aunque terminen en ing. Ah, okay, okay. So number Thank four. You. Claudia. Oh, she's in a call. So no problem. Oh. No, it's okay. It's okay. Is number five? No, number four. Five, maybe. It's fun to play in fun. It's also called table tennis. Table tennis. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Number five. That go and. Actually, at the country club. You said go? You said Ooh. go, el verbo go? Mm. Yes, do. Do? Teníamos duda entre go y play. Play. Pero, ¿cómo se refiere a... Ah, no, sí, sería play, creo. No sé, teacher. Which one lo dije como... ¿Cuál es? Play, go, or do? Do. Do? Who said do? Los demás, guys. Which one is it? ¿Cuál es? Do, go. play, or go? Go. 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 Go
Go. I think do. Esto lo tenemos. Go. Do art. Eh, porque da do. Is used no. with recreational activities. Recreational activities. Uh -huh. No team. It's individual. Are you sure, guys? ¿Qué es lo que nos va a dar la pauta, chicos? Que estamos hablando de algo recreacional. ¿Hay algo ahí que nos da la pauta? ¿Hacer? Dice, no, dice the country club. Country club. Porque oh. cuando hablamos de un club, de un club, como nosotros le decimos, es porque son amigos que van a jugar. Entonces, automáticamente sabemos que no estamos hablando de una competencia, sino de algo recreational. Recreational. Es, es por eso okay. importante, pay attention to the context. Ponerle atención al contexto. So that is going to give us the verb. Y en este caso, como, como tenemos that, y si utilizamos el verbo do, no sería do. ¿Cómo sería entonces? If we have does. Does. that does archery at the country club. Okay, very good. Number six. Okay. Number six. Ya se les olvidó quién era number six. <laughs> well, so number I think six. Aunt Mary loves to. Mm -hmm. mm. Aunt Mary loves to go ice skating mm -hmm. with her mm -hmm. friends. Excellent. Go ice skating. Thank you. Number seven. Mm -hmm. Teacher, en ese yo tengo una duda. No sé si sería play o go. En esa sí me entró una duda. What the other thing? ¿Qué piensan los otros, vea? Wrestling? I think go. Go wrestling. Teacher, una consultita. ¿Qué yes. significa eh, neighbors? Neighbors, please. No, no, no. Uh, that, there's, there's a mistake over there. Hay un uh, error de, de type, typing mistake. Eh, debería de estar separado. Neighbors, espacio, try. My neighbors, espacio, try. Okay. Que no try la contestamos to. por eso, no sabíamos. Bueno, yo no sé qué. <laughs> Mis vecinos tratan de... Ajá. Uh -huh. So, go. it is play, it is do, or what verb is that one? ¿Cuál verbo es ese? Go. 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 Question. Why go? Porque termina en ing. Porque termina en ING y porque el contexto nos está diciendo en que van al menos una vez a la semana. Quiere decir que se mueven de lugar. No lo hacen en su casa. That's why I told you guys. El contexto nos va a dar la respuesta. ¿Ya? Pero hay veces solo nos vamos a esto, esto y esto y lo otro y no nos fijamos en lo demás. So what about number nine? Or no, number eight. It's fun to do. It's fun. Mm -hmm. It's fun to do swimming on a hot day. It's fun to go swimming on a hot day. Very good. Number nine. Number nine. I like to go bowling with my friend on Saturday. Excellent. I like to go bowling with my friends on Saturday. And the last one, number 10. We practice a lot of sport in our family. We like to go badminton after school. We like to go? No. 
We like to do. Play. We like to do. It's not. It's not. Oh. <laughs> we like to play badminton after school. ¿Por qué dice? ¿Por qué utilizamos play y no do? Porque dice que les que a su familia le gusta practicar. Quiere decir que ellos compiten como familia. Y cuando tenemos una competence entre equipos, utilizamos el verbo play. So we play. say we like to play badminton after school. ¿Sí? So are we clear on that, guys? Como que nos dimos unas medias perdiditas este día, ¿verdad? Ahí adivinando. Por ratitos sí, por ratitos no. But it's okay, guys. So uh, this is our last class of this week. De esta semana. So remember that you have to complete uh, until okay, um, number four, right? Uh, for your platform. Section four. Uh -huh. yes. Section four number because, four. Uh, mañana se tiene la calibración. ¿verdad? So please try to work on that, guys. And I hope you have a nice weekend. Uh, well, enjoy your vacations if you have vacations on weekends if you gotta go to work well it is what it is right but if you can spend some time with you so try to have fun and try to practice as well okay so there's no class tomorrow we just have classes from monday to through thursday okay so see you next week on monday and have a nice weekend Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Good night. Good night. Nice weekend. Thank you.